All right, welcome to this MobiFlight release video. My name is Sebastian. I'm the developer of MobiFlight, and MobiFlight is your easy, flexible, and cheap way to create your own home cockpit for your favorite flight simulators, such as Flight Simulator X, X Plane, or Prepare 3D. And over the Thanksgiving break, I had some time. Um, I was working on some improvements, features, and um, bug fixes. And I was able to put everything together into a new release. And um, I would like to take you to the website and review together what has changed. So if you head over to the download section where you can download MobiFlight uh, for free, you will also see that there's release notes. For every release, I provide information what has changed, what's new, what, what got improved, and what bugs have been fixed. So this time we got a really cool new feature that is um, it's automatic stepper calibration support. So far, MobiFlight supports manual calibration for steppers, which is also pretty cool. But sometimes, for example, when you lose power, your steppers can still get out of sync with uh, MobiFlight. So the automatic step, stepper calibration support means that you can add a sensor that senses the home position of your stepper gauge or your needle, uh, you have a hand on the gauge. And then MobiFlight uses this to calibrate uh, on every startup your gauge and from it should, should be um, then very, very stable. So I have one gauge here that I got from Kenneth from the UK, who is a uh, part of the MobiFlight community who uses MobiFlight for his simulators. And he sent me one of his gauges because I didn't have one. And as you can see, um, the calibration support was, uh, it's an old idea, like number six means it's on my backlog for a long time. And it was actually already built into the firmware. And by the way, you also have really to, you have to update to the new firmware that comes with 7.8 because that's required for, for this feature to work. And um, so Kenneth tested it and it turned out to be working quite well. And now I had to add some options in the settings menu and I'm gonna show you that in, in a bit. So we have the gauge here on my desk. And if I store, start uh, MobiFlight, first thing that you will notice is that you in the settings menu, if you go to the stepper, you will now have an option where you can um, enable auto zero input. So uh, by default, it's going to be disabled like so, auto zero input, there is none. That also makes sure that all the steppers that you're using now are going to still continue working. And um, so that means there is a backward compatibility built in. So um, the stepper gauge has a sensor that senses the home position. Right now it is, um, okay, I, to, to demo it, I actually have to revert it back to a manual gauge. Let me update this real quick upload the configuration, wait for it. Upload has been has finished. Okay, so now if I go to the stepper menu, it's empty. And that's, um, that's something that I noticed too. Let's restart MobiFlight real quick so that it picks up the changes. So I can now move uh, the stepper into, the, that's the manual calibration th thing. Let's say, for example, the top position should be home and I was able to set this to zero. So when I tested the stepper now, it would always go back to zero. Very nice, okay. Uh, but now if I go here and say this um, actually is a stepper that has a auto zero input and it is connected to pin number six. And if I upload these changes and if you watch the gauge carefully, you will see that once the Arduino reboots, it's going to turn counterclockwise until it senses uh, from on this input a um, uh, yeah like a, a high and then it's gonna take this as a home position and stop stop rewinding yeah so to speak I'm gonna exit real quick again to make sure uh, that the change is picked up apologize for this I'm gonna fix that in one of the next versions for sure um, and then from now on the uh, gauge will not allow you to manually calibrate anymore because that would not make any sense but you can still test it so you see <clears throat> and it will now know 
Um, and it will do this recalibration on every startup. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I hope you like that feature. Let's go to the next one. Uh, it says support analog pins for digital input and output. Um, so this basically means that you have more pins to choose from now because you can use the analog inputs um, not only for analog signals but also for digital ones. So if you take here for example let's say we want to add a new button and then now we have more pins to choose from it goes all the way up to 68 so that's from A0 to A15 and if you if you want to know which one is which, then you can click on this story and then you will see 54, for example, is the analog zero, 55 analog one, and so on and so forth. I will probably also make that a little bit better in the future, but for now, I think it's really, really good the way it is. We can also use now 58 buttons on the, on the Mega that has changed too. And the next improvement is the uh, we have more supported characters to uh, th that we can display on a seven segment LED. Um, let's have a look here. A B C D F G H uh, A B C D F G H I J. There is no K. There is no M. There is no W. There is no V because and there is no X on a seven segment display. I didn't find a reasonable way to display them, but you can display all the other ones. So go ahead, try it out. Um, that's pretty useful. For example, if you want to display standard or uh, something, um, or if you want STD, or if you want to display north and east and south, while well, west is still uh, an issue, but um, you have more options now. That's pretty cool. And the last one that um, I also was able to fix, that was a bug. Um, I noticed that a lot of the FSUI PC offsets that we had added in the last release, which was over 360 uh, presets that now come with MobiFlight, some of them, if you if you choose them, they would only show zero. And the reason was that um, some of those transformations that are needed, did I just uh, okay? Let me let me start uh, the MobiFlight software again. Some of those uh, presets. Uh, especially the ones that deal with heading or anything like magnetic um, inf magnetic compass information. So let's take one of those presets, position, I think it was, position, heading. Then you will see that now there is parenthesis part of the transformation. And um, yeah, in the old version, like these expressions, they would just get so tiny numbers that um, it, it, at the end it would turn out to be a zero. So that should work now better too. If you still find any of those presets that don't work for you, just let me know. Um, write it on the forum and then we can take care of it in one of the next um, videos. All right, so this is the end uh, for now. I hope you liked it. Uh, release 7.8.0. Uh, make sure that you go to mobiflight.com and download mobiflight if you haven't done it yet it's free try it see if you like it and also make sure that you subscribe to the youtube uh, channel and always receive a notification when i add a new video so have a great day and many happy landings bye bye